Fugitive Economic Offenders Bill is an example of the kind of eyewash that the Modi Sarkar is trying to do in the context of black money stashed overseas and people who very often friends of Modi Sarkar who have managed to flee from our shores and who taunt us from abroad. The government is not serious and is actually intent only to try and project an image of going after black money and fugitive economic offenders, but actually does not follow through. Let me point out that the Prime Minister went and met the Antigua Prime Minister, and a few months later, we found that Hamare Mehul, Mr. Mehul Choksi, was given Antigua citizenship. What is the link between these two? Only those people know. Yesterday, the Finance Minister Piyush Goyal came out with a press statement and reporting a letter that he has received from some Swiss authorities saying that according to the Bank of International Settlements data, the amount of Indian money in Swiss banks has gone down when in the last quarter of the previous financial, uh, of the previous financial year. In the last quarter, that same data shows, from the same data set of the Bureau of Inter Bank of International Settlements, shows us that the Indian deposits in Swiss banks has gone up by 23%. UPA commissioned studies on the amount of black money in India and abroad. We asked three institutions, um, the National Institute of Public Finance and Policy, the National Council of Applied Economic Research, and the National Institute of Financial Management, we commissioned studies by three different reputed organizations to ascertain how much black money was in the country and outside. Till today, the reports have been produced, the government has not placed them before parliament and hides when RTI requests are placed before the government, the government says we have not uh, actually placed this before parliament. What is preventing them from placing these reports in front of us in Parliament and demonstrating to the world how much black money has been there and how much this government has been able to tackle. A consortium of journalists around the world came out with a report which is well known as the Panama Papers Expose. Demonstrated to the world that a large number of people, including thousands of Indians, were implicated in moving money to tax havens like Panama. And what has this government done on that particular issue? दो तरह की statistics Switzerland सरकार से आती है। एक तो Swiss National Bank से आती है और कल जो प्रस्तुत की गई उसको BIS का data बोलते हैं। Swiss National Bank Switzerland सरकार का केंद्रीय bank है, जो जो कह रहा है कि भारतीयों का पैसा Swiss banks में 50 percent बड़ा है पिछले साल। और BIS का डाटा जो कल कोट किया गया है, जो कि Bank for International Settlement का डाटा है, वो कह रहा है कि भारतीयों का डाटा Swiss banks में कम हुआ है। जब हमने इसका minutely अध्ययन किया, तो हमने क्या पाया कि ऐसा क्यों हो रहा है? क्योंकि BIS के डाटा में non deposit liability include नहीं की जाती है। मैं आपको एक example के तौर पे बताता हूँ कि अगर भारतीय कोई काला धन लेके Switzerland के बैंक में जमा कराता है और वो deposit होता है तो वो BIS और SNB दोनों की statistics में आएगा पर अगर वो कोई Switzerland की बैंक का bond खरीद लेता है debenture खरीद लेता है mutual fund खरीद लेता है तो वो BIS के data में नहीं आएगा वो SNB के data में आएगा तो क्या वो काला धन नहीं है 2018 के quarter साइट पे भारतीयों का पैसा स्विस बैंक्स में 23 परसेंट की दर से बढ़ा है। जो बीआईएस की वेबसाइट का हवाला देके वित्त मंत्री जी ने कहा कि काला धन कम हुआ है, उसी वेबसाइट में अगर देखेंगे तो पाएंगे कि भारतीयों का लक्जमबर्ग में पैसा अचानक से चार गुना बढ़ गया है, four times, four times increase। वो बातें आप नहीं बता रहे हो। Data reveals that majority of that money which inflow which we are getting from the year 2014, the majority of that is not from the genuine economically developed nations, it is from these tax havens.